and here we are what is up guys i'm your host bathala sc and today we'll be witnessing most likely a best of three in the starcraft brood war remastered bgh 3v3 spawning on the 12 o'clock position our navy colored zerg rusty nail to be joined by look at that positioning they're all on there they're all in between each other another zerg green light green zerg it is not ski and another zerg here i think they'll be making a aggressive an aggressive strategy it is marks ph for our red team and for the blue team we see this white zerg at the top left at the nine o'clock position it is Digit Shield with Bad Trip as the pink Protoss player and last but not the least Pain in the Ass with an 8-9 supply SCV scattered by the Overlord of Mark's PH. So now we'll be changing our color scheme as you can see Overlords running around trying to see what's up. Reconnaissance is very important in this game because this is a game of incomplete information. Now, Mark's PH seeing what shenanigans Mr. Pain in the Ass is gonna do as of the moment. And yes, he's just placing a supply depot, droning heavily. Uh, for the red team, they're still droning heavily. A probe scout by Bad Trip, and another 9 pool for Rusty Nail. Yet another 9 pool for Mark's PH and a 9 pool for Notsky. So this will be a very aggressive strategy because all of them can be um, can easily deploy Zerglings. Pain in the ass shout out to Dodong Radiator once again. And now our spawning pool is about to be done. Probe spotting on the left side of the map. So medyo nangapa. So good wall positioning by our Protoss player in the six o'clock position. Where will the red team decide to advance and attack and merge their Zerglings? We will find out sooner in the game. Vespine gas being taken here. Creep colony added for the blue team. Zerg. The Terran creating a good wall at the front. Two barracks. I think this would be insufficient if you don't have bunker ready to take on the upcoming Zerglings. There we go. I know this is Zerglings. I know. I am guessing these are Zerglings from the red team. Um, where is your spawning pool, Mr. Rusty Nail? So you're delayed, so most likely you have a more economic opener. 3, 6, 7. Drones in production uh, at the scene at the moment. Now we see our first sets of attacking units. Now the probe spotting Zerglings being morphed in front. Four Zerglings by Legit Shield. And we will see where the red team will most likely attack. Blue Zerg posturing at the front, spotting if there will be a an, uh, an upcoming attack for from the red team. So, medyo nag-aabang lang po. So, mukhang nagde-decide na sila. Nasa Zealot base one zealot base ng ating protoss player mr bad trip is in big trouble probes being pulled to delay um and mess with the padding of the zergling ai now zerglings pouring at the front base of our two gate zealot player reinforcement reinforcement trying to send reinforcement okay three more zealots this is a more Hold the ball push. These zealots can kill a lot of zerglings before they die. Um, 
Reinforcement from the Blue Terran and the Blue Zerg is not yet seen. But as you can see, Mr. Bad Trip is holding on on its own. Very good play by Mr. Bad Trip. Microwing is hard out of this zealot. More pulls of probes being created. I think he has enough to produce more zealots. There you go. Three more zealots, four more zealots in the fray. But the mineral line is now exposed. Mr. Bad Trip at a very bad position. Still great defense. So now, trying to snipe the, the Navy Zerg. Trying to snipe this Protoss Nexus, but he won't be successful. I guess that would be it for the first part of our push created by the red team. They didn't do enough damage as of yet. And they still continue droning. Supply um, for the red pure Zerg team, they're controlled at 18, 15, and 17. And for our mixed race, we have bad ship at 24 shield. Uh, Sai Terran pain in the ass at 36 supply, and the Zerg control for this blue base is at 16, 25. That is low for a Zerg player because should be spending and producing a lot more stuff because you're a zerg but unfortunately mr legit shield is still working on his macro so this five zealot composition is more than enough to hold this and zerglings just harassing but i don't think this base will fall early on um, mr bad trip you should protect your pylon another ling being sniped out now we can see the marines intercepting the reinforcements of the zerg from the 12 o'clock position zergs from the 7 o'clock and 5 o'clock don't know where to go as of the moment they're still undecided they do not know where to push because mr Badrip playing the playing the good plays with the six with the six zealot play he's holding strong and now going for the sandwich here the red zerglings in trouble is i think speed is already researched or not yet i, I think this red zerg has speed already so now we can see because of the positioning of the bases it's an alternate setup they can't quite sure have um, decide where to really attack because they're still positioning properly now the Terran player charging at the front supported by Zerglings at the back 12 o'clock Zerg wanted to sandwich this army but this marine count is very high and deals a lot of da damage medics at the front going to support this clump of Marines Slowly but surely, our Terran player pain in the ass. Creating a contain on this right side. And now we go to the left side. The Zealots of the fray. And that is a lot of Zerglings. But if you have proper positioning like Sir Badrib has, that wouldn't be enough to break out this expansion being taken. Posturing for taking up this expansion by Sir Badrib. Sir Mark's PH adding more hatcheries, upgrading the lair. Is he going? Yeah, upgrading the lair and adding sunken colony just in case there would be a marine attack. And most likely, most inevitably, there would be an attack from the right, right area. The blue and the red from the right area will have a skirmish sooner than we expect. Zealots parking at the front so that they limit the reinforcement of the red zerg at the 7 o'clock position now marines and zerglings I think this would be a bad scenario for our Flesh zerg now attacking the sunken colonies zerglings engaging the sunken colonies zerglings from the red side flowing and marines starting to dish damage, but it isn't enough most of those marines were just a moved marines that's why 
they all died and the medics didn't do their job. Good hold by Mark's BH. And now that reinforcements has arrived, the 12 o'clock position, Rusty Nail trying to hustle to sandwich this blue army. But Zealots are tankier than Zerglings, and as you can see, he will fail to do so. Supposedly, this sandwich would be with Mark's BH, but unfortunately, he's still recuperating. Didn't uh, the blue team didn't deal much damage? Now zealots and cannons at the front, trying to contain this zergling army of our red teams. Not RRD Notsky. Pylon cannons being created. As we can see, this is where the tech upgrade of our Protoss players begin. Protoss player begin. Um, on our left side, this is still tier 1 tech. On the right side, we have Alair, but and Hydalis then, but we don't see any Hydalis as of the moment. Um, same with this setup. This lacks a this lacks a tech building and look at this is drones not <laughs> moving for mr legit shield will he be able to see it or will he just waste time <laughs> not mining those with those drones on the other side on our 12 o'clock position a very good defense place at the front of mr rusty nail 925 that is a heavy defense with hydras and sunken colonies but look at this Terran player with a lot of buildings due to the fact that Terran pieces need a lot of space so but still we have we just have three barracks a factory most likely producing a siege tank one at a time and siege mode being researched at the moment Terran starport now we will see another fight in the middle of the um, it's most likely the 530 position so another posturing of the blue army here now Terran gonna engage the zerglings zerglings should be at the front with zealot support another great contain here contain set up now will this be the killing blow for our blue team to eliminate marks um, no, not yeah marks ph so there's a lot of marines and zerglings now there's a counter attack being sent by rusty nail on this base but i don't think he can do enough damage here going back there are lurkers activated in the fray that's why the push has to be stopped lurkers at the front of mr oh my god tanks being sniped you have to remove that there is no detection for our blue Terran at the moment. Scan being casted, but it is not enough. Now our Terran player is in dire straits, losing his army in the middle of the map and losing his army being sieged at this area. Where is his siege tank? Siege tank not being sieged at the moment. And now the reinforcement has arrived. Bunker being lost. This mineral line, you can't use this as of the moment because of this three lurker. Great play by Rusty in 925 to delay this attack. I mean to negate the attack of the Terra. Now Marks has free reign of his natural area. Lurker is being positioned. I don't know where this is gonna be positioned. Zealots of the fray. Now the blue team has to have detectors like overlords from this zerg base or observers from this proto space but unfortunately there's still no such thing available so zerglings being killed by this zerg lurker lurker is again being burrowed at the middle slowly but surely the red team is trying to create a better space for them to grow and the blue team is slowly but surely losing the battle in this area now the blue team has to relocate 
the blue team Zerg has to relocate his structures because of the lurker damage being dealt to him. And as we talk, there is a big move out of Hydralisk from the 12 o'clock position added by lurkers and marines. These SCVs are gonna be dead. Unfortunately, they'll be sandwiched by all this army from the red team. And Mr. Pain in the Ass wants a great damage dealing player in this match now is disabled. Akala natin unang madidis, um, matatanggal sa ating game si Mark's PH. Pero good hold and follow up. Saktong sakto lang yung timing ng lurkers niya. Now red getting control over the middle. They will try to bust through this defense made by the Jeet Shield. Rusty Nail saying 9. Meaning they'll be attacking this Zerg encampment. And with that, we will see if our Zerg, Blue Zerg, is ready for this onslaught being brewed by our Red Zerg team. Now, Navy. So these are Corsairs from Mr. Bad Trip, but unfortunately, they're not being used at the moment. Hydras engaging with zealots up uh, hydras engaging with hydras plus zergling support but this arc made by our blue terran uh blue zerg player is a good arc and they cannot bust that area easily they're trying to go for a choke point baiting the blue hydralisk um mutalisk now on the fray but they're not used as of yet now as you can see the Protoss and the Zerg trying to scram for their defenses while the red team saying Rusty Nail Mutalisk is now on the blue team's side. They have to prepare their anti-air weapons and most likely tech up to Spire so that they can deal with it. As we can see, great control by our red team. Another skirmish. I can hear a skirmish here and there. Where is that? Where is that? So it's still a stalemate. Great control by the red team here in the middle. And <laughs> the Terran player has no choice but to evacuate this area. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. There is still this lurker trying to kill all of the supply depots of the blue Terran player if the Terran player will have the ability to produce um, siege tank they will turn up the tide later on in the game because our Protoss has good army composition and good defenses as of yet our Zerg our blue Zerg has good tech choice and defense so now our Mr. Blue Protoss the bad ship trying to snipe off a lot of stray overlords. Will he find more? This Corsair has one kill and this other one uh why is it solo? Okay. Now we will be seeing if there'll be more action, but unfortunately they're just powering up. Um supply wise, pain in the ass restarting from the start of the game, nine out of ten. And our Zergs and Protoss are doing a good job creating army. Now with the lead, Bad Trip with 104-106 on his side. But that won't be enough to help his teammates. Now we can see that there are Widow Mines. Uh, not Widow Mines. Spider Mines being laid down by this Terran Vulture created by... Sir, pain in the ass. Now, Widow Mine catching this Hydro Club at the front, and it will deal damage, killing and damaging this Lurker. Terran Vulture has to go out. Great dodge by our Terran pain in the ass there. 
So more mutual is being produced. Mr. Legit Shield, use your army to harass this opponent. You should be the one to buy time for our Zealot. Now skirmish at the front, lurkers and hydras versus dragoons and zealots. But this is not enough. This Hydra army is just too much. Now the blue reinforcement. Hydras being torn apart by lurkers. There is a few dragoons left for the Protoss player. Will he have more army? Yes, he has, but it's ample. Now breaking them in the um production line of our disabled Terran player. This is a bad choice to put your factory here. It's very vulnerable. And I think it will be sniped as well. There we go. The Mutalist now will park with the flaming <laughs> Terran factory. <laughs> the burning Terran factory. Mr. Digit Shield. Use your Mutalist and create damage and chaos to the red team. Um, is he escorting them? I think they are just escorting them. Okay, our blue Terran trying to recreate his base once again. And as you can see, this siege tank not being sieged and utilized as of yet. Mutalisk now for the red team has arrived. Being mutated. I think that is the only base that has Mutalisk, our 7 o'clock position base. But this flock of Mutalisk will deflect them easily this mutalist flock cannot trade off as of yet now we will be seeing our terran player striving hard but this terran factory needs they really need to repair that as soon as possible mr pain in the ass you're gonna lose your terran factory you don't want that kind of pain in the ass zerg hatchery being taken at the what um 11 o'clock position hydras being produced now we're at the 100 cap mark but still on the lead bad trip with a good econ economy to base protoss we can see that the corsair is trying to harass um trying to harass some overlords but failed to do so because of the support of hydra disc There we go. Now the Protoss has their first Protoss Observer so that they can spot for the Lurkers. They are just buying time. Now Mutalis being micro to the front. They don't want this Terran base to have a breathing room. Now the, Zer the Zealots at the front checking if they are Lurkers. And this is a very vulnerable position for our Terran player. You have to repair this, mister! <laughs> you have to repair that! 66, we will be seeing the wreckage of this factory if he is not careful enough. Now, Lurkers and um, DTs now in the position. Great observer placements, great storm. Those hard that is. Oh my god, that storm was unfortunate because it sniped the observer used by our Protoss player. That was so sad. Great storm once again. And there we go. They, they have our DTs now. Hard that is at the front being dropped by the by our player Rusty Nail. A cheat shield defending his base with his dive. Where is his mutalist flock? I don't see it now. It is being this uh, massacred at the moment. Lurker is being put at the front. Skirmish left, right, and center. Now this contain is being removed by our Protoss player. And as we can see, the Terran factory survived. It didn't fall down. It didn't fell down in this game. More supply depots being made by this lone SCV. There is no spot. Um, there is a spotter overlord, but hindi niya nakikita na meron na palang sneak 
strategy ang ating pain in the ass. Now, Storms being laid down at the front. Hydralisk being killed from Mark's PH camp. But it is, is it too much for Protoss army? I think it is. Zealots being microed. Another High Templar snipe. Dragoons being killed here. Where is that siege tank? We need that siege tank. Come on. Nine tayo. Once again by Rusty Nail. Everybody is going to the 9 o'clock position. Well, unfortunately, this Zerg can defend on its own. But is it enough? Stray Hydras being sniped at the front. The Terran base most likely being eliminated at this time. Hydras being pulled into fray. And once again, great play by our Zerg now that they have an infested command center. I think pain in the ass is out of this game. Does he have enough? No, he does not have enough money to create another command center. And I guess this is a win. Most likely this is a 2 versus 3 scenario already. Now, Hydra's being sniped by this Dark Templar, but walk further and you will see that there are observe overlords don't do that and there you go dark templar is dead that was a bad play by pain in the ass he didn't realize that he has no minerals and now bad trip is saying gg bad trip a step the game, GG is called the cheat shield saying GG once again, pain in the ass, step the game. And it is a win for our red Zerg, pure Zerg composition.